Hi, welcome to my channel. So today I will tell you about how we can publish our HP.NET Core application to IS server and uh, use it uh, simultaneously while working uh, on the multiple projects like backend and frontend. So to host our ASP.NET applications, uh, what are the things that we need? So first we need to install uh, the hosting bundle for ASP.NET application. So you will get this uh, hosting bundle from this uh, Microsoft website or you can directly type uh, window hosting bundle on the Google Chrome and open it. And you can see under the direct download, there is a current version .NET Core hosting bundle installer to host your ASP.NET Core websites. So uh, you need to download this and install it uh, uh, before uh, publishing your website to uh, ASP.NET, uh, publish your ASP.NET Core website to IS server. So earlier, uh, what, uh, what uh, issue we faced uh, while working uh, uh without uh, uh hosting the application on IS server so that uh, we need to uh host uh uh we need to start this project uh individually on our local system uh backend for backend we need to run it uh individually and front end uh, we need to run it individually and uh, we need to use this local url you are under the under our uh, front end project uh, to call their API endpoints. So how we can reduce this with the help of IS server is first let's we need to publish this uh, application on uh, to the folder. For example, I've already created one. Uh, let me delete this and create a new one. Yeah, I'm adding a publish profile. Select the folder, click on next, browse it, store it wherever it seems good. and storing it under published code folder and here is here are some settings you need to make some changes on it select the configuration to release target framework to dotnet uh, or whatever you are using deployment mode you need to change it to self-contained and target runtime if you are using 64-bit uh, and select 64 under the file publish option, select the delete all existing prior files prior to publish. It will delete all the files before publishing to that folder. Save this configuration and then click on publish. So it is published to that folder. You can click on it and see their files the compiled code for your core application so now I'm going to use this code uh, under our IS server first open the IS server if you have not enabled this IS server so you can enable it from your window machine and if you don't know how to enable that, I have already created one video of it. You can take a look on it. So let's see. This is our IS server. Under this, uh, you can see in the left panel under sites, there is already created one site default website, which is running on port 80. So we need to create one new site here. Click on it. Give the meaningful name. I'm giving it tapper, for example. Select the path where we publish our files, published code, and select the port. 
and uh, just uncheck this start website immediately and click on okay you can see our app, uh, application is configured on the is server dapper in the name of dapper it is stopped and the right hand side it is uh, not started so we need to go to the uh, first application pool under application pool you can see we have two pools first is default app pool and another is dapper default is already uh, using no managed code so we need to update our dapper is to no managed code advanced settings and update the no uh, .NET CLR version to no managed code and they start mode to always running so it will always running of our application and just click on ok and see it will move to no managed code now uh, it looks good and go to the go to your sites click on it under dapper and then start your application pool so it is started you can see application pool is started and then you can directly click on it under the under the manage website you can click on browse website which is run using 345 port number click on it click on it and uh, you can see our application is running on localhost 345 i have not run my application from visual studio this is already running in is server so just close it everything our website is still running i have closed that just open your browser and the next time while trying to uh, run that click Click on the search panel and type localhost column 345, your port number, which is we configured in our IS server 345. And then press enter. And you can see our application is still running. So this uh, makes our problem easy that we can directly use this url in our front end application uh, to call use these endpoints so instead of we are calling we have to call uh, with, uh, our visual studio to run the application so now we don't need to uh, open the visual studio or our backend application we can just uh, start with our front end application so that is how uh, you can configure your is server as well Thank you very much.